Hey everybody, PreCentral.net here, showing video of various features of the Palm Pixie on the software side. We're going to need a look at Facebook, at uh, new integration stuff, and so on. Once again, apologies for the poor video quality. Didn't have my proper camera along with me, but uh, we're going to muddle through and you can see uh, what's coming up with the Pixie. He's doing. This is my messaging application. Let me go back here. It's my messaging application that's pulling in my buddies from various different IM networks, Google Talk, AOL, and now we are adding Yahoo Messenger to this list as well. Um, it's a unified list. I don't have to go to different lists for the different networks. Here I see Kate is online as indicated by the green dot. So I'm going to tap on her name and I, that will take me into my chat thread with Kate. So I'm going to, now the great thing about this application is that it's an integrated IM, SMS, and MMS application. So you don't have to go to separate apps to do different things. There's a message back from her saying, got lucky, check your inbox. So maybe she got into a fashion show. Um, this is my Yahoo inbox. You see there's an email from her. Does I can tap email, on that email. Does Yahoo email push out like uh, Gmail does? Yes, Yahoo, uh, we, we support Yahoo IMAP, including push on, okay. on the Pixie, as well as on the Pre, actually. So you see in this, uh, in this email, I can see her online status even inside email, even though that's her IM status. Um, she sent me an image of a woman carrying a handbag. She's trying to actually indicate that she's at this fashion show, but just look. So if I want more information, I can tap on her name, which will launch her contact card. Here I can see her profile photo, but I can also see a lot of other information, including her phone numbers, email addresses, IM addresses, as well as postal addresses. Now I'm getting this information from various sources, which is, you know, again, uh, synergy. I can tap here on her picture and see all the sources where this information is coming from. Facebook, Google Talk, Yahoo, Exchange, Google, and the new edition, LinkedIn. So now you can get all your LinkedIn friends or your LinkedIn network people mm -hmm. into your contact list here. And if they're, if, you know, let's say you're getting, you have Kate, your LinkedIn to Kate, and you have her in, a, in your exchange address book as well, she will only appear as one entry in your contact book. You will not see two different entries for Kate. We actually merge her information together for you in a single view. We killed some time using uh, one of our applications from the app catalog. Let's do Air Hockey. This is a game that is built using the Mojo SDK. Mojo SDK is the Palm Web OS SDK. Uses HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, standard web technologies to build any application. Um, we recently announced that any developer can download uh, our SDK, right. and we announced the app catalog uh, beta recently. When when do you open it up to, to, to the general public? Fall. Fall. Yeah. I mean, anyone in the general public can submit to the beta, but we are going to take, uh, you know, few submissions just to test out the beta. But everyone can submit, and uh, we go through the normal acceptance process this fall. So this is an application. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, and, and all applications that are accepted thus far are available to users or only the early user group? Uh, no. So everything that is accepted so far is available. Um, is available. Um, right now, I think we have 58, 60 right. odd applications in the app catalog that's available to all the users. Yeah. And what you will see is sort of a regular and a growing cadence of those apps. And of course, when we uh, open it up in fall, then you'll see a huge uh, right. uh, push through for sure. So this is something I used to play when I was a kid. Ah, I'm still okay. Um, the other thing that we are introducing with the Palm Pixie is a dedicated Facebook application. With the pre, we already announced integration of uh, Facebook into contacts and calendar, as well as you could upload a photo from camera into Facebook. But now we are complementing that functionality with a dedicated app. Okay. Now in this dedicated app, you can update your status, you can view your newsfeed, you can comment on people's status. You can uh, also view pictures. So at the very top, as you can see, Kate has uploaded an album from the DVF show that she is at right now. So there the picture is loading and that looks like probably her in the background. Uh, and you can see all your Facebook pictures like this uh, very easily in this application. And the interface we use is very similar to our regular photos, uh, our photos application. So I can turn it around and put it in uh, landscape mode. I can double tap. Oops. I can double tap and zoom in. I can double tap and zoom out. I can flick through pictures left and right. And I can uh, view the whole album like this. 
And now if I want to leave her a comment, I can just tap, get additional uh, options. And, uh, so you're commenting good. within Facebook right now? I'm commenting within Facebook. So I say nice. And that comment is now live on Facebook. So you could do that right from your uh, your Pixie. And now I'm going to go to the card view, go back to this messaging thread with her, and I'm going to, uh, but I have a kick-ass calendar application. So I'm going to use that. Uh, my, oops. That's too many cards because I've had too many things open over time. Even before you guys came in, I was playing videos and stuff like that. So let's try the calendar application now. it a little bit. It's still three months oh, away. Yeah, it's, still, it's, still, <laughs> it's, still, it's still it's still it's still three months away from our uh, however much uh, away from launch. It's not coming out till the holidays so we are still working out some of the things on this device. You got a spare? There you go. Uh, there you go. But something to take back to the engineering team still needs to be fixed before we ship. I was just telling him Tell them that you guys got to do something about uh, killing bad apps. Oh, yeah. You got some memory leaks there. What okay, happened? so here, it, it, it told me I couldn't open cards, even mm -hmm. though there weren't cards open. Yeah, you can fix that. Okay, so in the Facebook app, mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got your main feed here. What are, is there anything else? Is there navigation, or you just get the feed, or how does this work? So you get the feed here. You can enter your status message. and that gets posted. Um, you can uh, comment on anyone's status message. You can view their pictures, as I show you. So we can try this again. Let's say I want to search for a friend of mine on Facebook. I think uh, there's still functionality that we are uh, working on that may be available in the future. So, okay. so um, right now it not, looks like... Not everything that's on Facebook website is in the right. application. So right now it looks like you're primarily just working with the right. main feeds. That's right. And, the and then you know, trying being able to being able to work with being able to work with the uh, content that someone has posted. Okay. Whether you, you know, it's kind of the interactive part of it is what mm -hmm. we have focused mm -hmm. on up front, um, and then obviously you know we have other functionality in our roadmap for the future. So you can enter a comment. So entering a comment on someone's photo, entering a comment on someone's status update, updating your own status, you know, okay. everything that's sort of more communicative. Right. Um, now, you should remember that we already have the contacts integration and the calendar integration. Right. So that stuff necessarily doesn't show up here, but it's integrated where it needs to be. And then, you know, moving forward, mm -hmm. you, you could have more stuff.